Hi guys. Wanted to share another pattern with you that I'm doing, keeping with the theme of golden stoneflies. And in this case, I got a pattern for you that I haven't done yet. The uh, gold bead biot epoxy back golden stonefly. Uh, it's a Mike Mercer pattern. Really cool pattern using some natural materials. I uh, really like the look of this. In this case, I'm tying a size 14 with a brass bead. You can use tungsten if you'd like. And what I've done already is uh, put on a couple biots on the front end of it. And I'm not going to spend the time showing you that. You can probably figure that out how to do that. But I just put them right in front of the bead, whip finished, and then started my thread back here. Again, size 14, 2x long hook, like a TMC 5262 hook, size 14. You can tie them 10s all the way to 16s um, as needed. And what I'm doing first is I'm going to start with a little base layer of thread on my hook shank and then I'm going to come in and grab some wire and lead wire in this case it's a size 0.25 and I'm going to lay this on the far side of the hook from me and I'll show you how I'm doing this I'm just going to get a layer of thread on there we want to make these a little bit fatter and wider so I'm laying it on this side and then I'm going to come down and one trick you can do is to, this lead is soft, so you can put a couple soft or firm wraps right there and then break that lead off. And now there's different ways you can do that, but that's one way. Now come on the near side, stick that lead and recess under the bead, inside the bead if you can. Come to the same spot and then again a couple good wraps and then just tear that off. Now what you've done is you've widened up that base layer and I'm just going to come in with a pair of pliers and just make sure it's fairly flat just like so. A couple more layers on there. Jump back here and we're going to put on some biots and in this case I'm using these this golden stone coloration turkey biot from Nature Spirit. Really cool color. You can use gold if you don't have the golden stone. You can sort of see the different colorations there. Uh, I do like the golden stone, a little darker. You can also use gold uh, goose biots, which work just fine. Like I said, I'm just using these biots here. And I'm going to get two of them, and I'm going to flip them around. These are a little bit thicker. Um, then maybe the goose biots and again if you uh, want to use go goose biots no big deal you can color them with markers so I just got those I'm gonna uh, pair them together and I'm gonna lay two wraps pinch and lay two wraps right there for my tail and what I did is I split them over the over the um, hook shank just like I had a pair of scissors and that helps me to lay them in and then I'm going to wind this back to where the drop off that shoulder is and put a couple good wraps and make sure they're secure and you can cut or tear them off but you got to make sure that they're tightly tied on there. Now next thing I'm just going to grab some golden stone dub dubbing and fill in that little gap there with that that shoulder from the lead. That way my biot has a ramp to climb up. And you can make your your body, lead body shorter. That helps to uh, to get you up that ramp a little bit easier. Now, coming in with a biot, a longer biot, same turkey, and I'm just clipping it out of there and I want the ridges to show up so in this case the ridges are on the back end of the hook and that's going to be leave a fuzzy rib so that's what I want so I'm going to tie this in so make sure that that rib stands up when I wrap this biot forward okay so I'm just going to get a pair of pliers so I can wrap that grab and then make my way up that ramp try not to slide down if it slides you can always put a little pressure to 
get that next wrap up so it doesn't slide. That one wanted to slide there, so I'm going to back up. And just continue wrapping. And that fuzz will then show up. So right there, I'm on the shank. A little issue there. Once you get up here, wrap it down with your thread. You don't need, if you're doing the larger ones, you can, you might need more than one biot. So I had a little trouble on the back end here with my biot, but I got it on there. So right here, our wing case is going to begin. So as long as we have somewhat of a good body on there we're okay. I'm going to come in with the turkey tail now. I've treated this with some of the Dave's Flex Cement that way it does not peel or fall apart once we start uh, using it as a wing case. So I'm just going to come in here clip. The normal uh, or the recipe normally calls for two of these. Uh, I found I've only needed one and that was because the epoxy would uh, soak through the first turkey uh, wing case and kind of sog into the uh, the dubbing and uh, with UV resins now it's it's a much quicker amount of uh, time so less time that that material or epoxy or resin has to, to uh, soak in so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a feather and there's a bunch of different feathers you can use. I like the hen feathers. They come in various sizes, different colorations. And these are just a little bit smaller than, say, a uh, Brahma hen or a Coq de Leon saddle feather, a hen saddle. So they're a little bit smaller. So I'm going to lay this in. I'm going to stroke those fibers back and lay this in right in the center tie it down and then I'm gonna come with my dubbing and then I've really fallen in love with this snowshoe rabbit golden stone dubbing from uh, nature spirit really a good dubbing the coloration matches um, what I'm looking for and it uh, dubs really nice nice and soft so I'm just gonna get that on there build up my thorax Once I have that built up, I leave a little bit of space right there. I'll show you why here. Put a little bit right there. I'm going to bring this fo feather forward. And I'm going to stroke those fibers back. I want those tied in right up on top. So I'm just going to grab my thread and center it and snug it down, cut it out. All right, so here's what I got. Now I pull that turkey right up the middle there. And I tie it down with several good wraps. All right, and cut that close. So like I said, I have a little space there. Before we get too far, what I need to do is I need to hit that with my resin. And again, this resin game now that we have, the epoxy took a while both to mix and to dry. Now this this resin, UV resins that we're able to use nowadays, and I always use the Deer Creek, in this case the Diamond Fine, I think that's that's my favorite. We put it on there and hit it with the UV light for a few seconds and then we're good to go. So we didn't lose any time there. The only other thing that we want to do is fill that gap right behind the bead now with some dubbing and once you do that you're pretty much done you can whip finish this and the only other thing that I will do is get a marker and mark this up just a little bit 
I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to clean up a couple of these stray fibers just because we're on camera. Make sure everything's good. And I had a little issue with the abdomen, but uh, got that taken care of. Now, brown permanent marker. I'm just going to hit these and give it a little coloration. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it adds to it a little. Hit the top, a little coloration, hit the sides, put a couple dots here and there. And what I'll even do is I'll get a piece of cardboard or something. That way I can mark it a little bit better. And you'll see that one when I'm done here. Two or three dots just to kind of show. So right there you got a little coloration. And then up on the top too as well. The only other thing I'll do is hit maybe the thread on the top here. Just right up there to give it a little dark coloration again. And that's about it. So that's the... That's Mercer's Poxy Bat Golden Stone right there. And I uh, really like the coloration of this one. You can use uh, gold biots. In this case I'm using Golden Stone. Uh, Biots from Nature Spirit as well as Golden Stone uh, Rabbit uh, uh, Snowshoe Rabbit dubbing from Nature Spirit. Really like that. A little bit of lead, got a little bit of weight. Again, size 14, 52, 62 hook. And uh, brass bead in this case. Really good little pattern. Check it out, tie them, and uh, let me know how you do with them.